All right, well, you finally got it. The knock to it. This is definitely the fastest growing handheld release in archery. And so what's important is how do you set this up for you? You get three Allen wrenches right in your package and those three Allen wrenches are gonna give you an assortment of adjustments to make this feel and fit just right for your hand. So the first thing that I like to do is go ahead and adjust the thumb barrel, okay? The thumb barrel takes the largest Allen wrench, simply loosen it about half a turn, and you'll see that the hole is actually offset so that this barrel pivots to a magnitude of different positions. Some people like it positioned closer to the body, people who like that trigger tucked deeper into their thumb pocket. However, I really like to move that to the full rearward position and then tighten it down snugly. Okay, in that rearward position like that, it gives me the ability to actually put this thumb trigger right in this first joint of my fingers. Okay, I like to have it in that position instead of back deep into the thumb pocket. Part of the reason it sits there is when I hold my handheld release, I like to keep my hand perfectly straight like this, and I like to fully wrap my fingers and make sure you keep them firm and rigid so that the release won't slip out of your fingers, and you're just aligning this release right down that center row of your knuckles. And when the hand is flat, which is what you're gonna want for a proper anchor position, having that barrel in that rearward position like that is gonna allow you to put your thumb exactly where I'd like it to be so that as you pull back, it's gonna pile skin on the front of that trigger. And without even moving your thumb, you're gonna be able to pull back, increase pressure on that trigger and make it fire. So, the next thing that you do, once you have that thumb barrel adjusted to the position that you like, is gonna be to adjust two things. One is the pressure of the trigger, and the other is the travel. So the pressure of the trigger is actually adjusted by this top set screw right here. And essentially what you're doing is if you tighten that set screw, you compress the spring that's inside, which makes it tougher to press. So you'll increase the amount of pressure you need to fire the trigger by tightening down the top spring set screw. Now one of the other screws that's on the release is this small set screw that actually locks in your tension screw. And in your Allen wrench kit, you're gonna find the smallest, which fits that set screw right there. So in order to adjust the tension of your thumb trigger, you're gonna first loosen the set screw on the side of the casing. Then you're gonna take your middle-sized Allen wrench and you can adjust, sorry, you're gonna take your large Allen wrench and you're gonna adjust that top tension screw in order to either increase or decrease the tension according to how you feel the tension is based on how it was when it came out of the package. So if you loosen that a little bit, you're gonna have less pressure, it's gonna be lighter trigger. If you tighten it some, it's gonna be a stiffer trigger. So go ahead and make that adjustment. Then you're gonna re-tighten your side set screw. And from there, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that the travel is adjusted properly and also safely. The travel screw is the small screw that's on the back of the thumb lever. Okay, this screw actually controls the amount of travel or the amount of movement you would feel in that trigger before it fires. The other thing that's important about this travel screw is if you have it adjusted too fast or too light, then it will actually be almost too light to draw the bow back. So in order to know that you're not in that situation, go ahead and cock the release by pushing on the back uh, cocking lever. 
put your Allen wrench in the back of the set screw and go ahead and tighten that by turning it clockwise until you get that release to fire. Once you get that release to fire, go ahead and look at your Allen wrench and think of it as if it were on a clock. And then you're gonna go ahead and turn that back about three numbers on the clock. What that does is that puts your travel into a safe position to where it's not gonna prematurely fire as you draw. Again, think of it just like a rifle trigger. If you have it set as a hair trigger, even if you bumped the gun, you could get that to fire. So you wanna make sure it's in a safe position, which again is why you go ahead and put that Allen wrench in the back when it's cocked and slowly turn your screw until you get that release to fire. Back it back about three numbers. If you were thinking about your Allen wrench being on a clock and go ahead and see how that feels. This one feels about right, but I'd like to have it a little bit lighter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen my side set screw. I'm gonna go ahead and put my Allen wrench in the top. I'm gonna take about a half a turn off. I'm gonna re-tighten the side set screw. I'm gonna cock the release. I'm gonna then check my travel for safety. Back it up. Perfect. That's all you have to do to properly set your knock to it release. From there, I'd just like to ask you, when you're first starting out with a handheld release, utilize the lanyard. Because a lot of people who haven't used a handheld release in the past make the mistake of relaxing the hand too much like what some people naturally did with their wrist strap release and the release ends up coming out of your fingers. Remember, this is a release that you have to hold on to. Think of it the exact same as holding on to the bowstring if you pulled it back without a release aid. You have to completely get your fingers around that release, keep them in this row of knuckles right here, keep your fingers rigid, and draw back with that hand flat. Don't try to relax your index finger with a knock to it, or with a silver back for that matter. Keep them rigid, and I can promise you, you're gonna have a perfectly smooth shot at any tension or trigger travel that you like.